The American Story. It's by Jennifer Armstrong and illustrated by Roger Roth. In 1565, the first city. Ever since European navigators had started bumping into North America on their search for the Indies, the race was on for control for the mighty continent. France had secured a shaky foothold up north in Chile, Quebec, while Spain was busy searching for a mythical city of gold somewhere in the mosquito-thick swamps of La Florida. As long as the whole eastern seaboard stretched between them, they kept out of each other's way. But in 1564, a group of French Protestants known as Huguenots established a colony at Fort Caroline near what is now Jacksonville. King Philip II of Spain was convinced that these French settlers would pirate the Spanish treasure ships on their way home across the Atlantic. Perhaps the French were trying to steal control of the continent. He sent an expedition of 11 ships and 2,000 men commanded by Pedro Mendendez de Avelas to destroy them and ensure the safety of his gold transport. Besides, as a Catholic, the king felt that he had a sacred duty to conquer Protestants. Yet, even as Avelis' expedition was headed for the New World, so were French reinforcements. Avelis reached the coast of Florida in September 1565, sailing into a sheltered bay on the feast day of St. Augustine, with colored pennants snapping in the breeze. Sunlight flashed on Spanish armor, and a cannon boomed a, sa a salute as Avelis knelt down to kiss the sand. The puff of smoke from the muzzle drifted over the crystal water. Nearby, there was already a town of Temecan Indians, but the Spanish had claimed all of La Florida and didn't bother to consult with the native people on where to put the new settlements. Avelis and most other Spanish explorers were sure that there must be a river passage across the continent to the Pacific Ocean a passage that would guarantee Spain's control of America from sea to sea and create a shortcut to the treasure-rich Indies. In order to secure a base for exploration of the shortcut to the Pacific, he founded a new city on the bay and called it St. Augustine. Then he turned his fleet north to settle the score with the Huguenots. But the French reinforcements beat them by a few days and faced the oncoming Spanish warships. There was a sea battle, with cannons thumping and pounding and giving fright to the dolphins and the seabirds. First one ship, then another, tried to cut off the wind from the enemy's sails to take the, the advantage, but the battle ended in a stalemate. As the French turned to sail down the Florida coast, a fierce autumn storm arose, wrecking many of their ships on the reefs. It was the chance that Velas had been waiting for. With the French ships foundering, he made for Fort Caroline under cover of the storm and found the place defenseless. The Huguenots did not stand a chance against conquistadors with two ferocious goals, the destruction of Protestants and the domination of America by Spain. Once Fort Caroline was destroyed and the French eliminated, Avelis was able to return to St. Augustine, solidify Spain's hold on the continent, and begin searching for the route to the Pacific. Avelis guaranteed Spanish control of La Florida for the time being, but that shortcut to the Pacific remained out of his reach. <laughs>